scratch beneath the surface of some homes in this country and you find a troubling fact. Domestic violence touches every corner of Canada. The victims are mostly women, but they include men and children too. According to Statistics Canada, intimate partner violence represents close to one-third of all police-reported violent crime in Canada. Stopping the cycle of violence is at the heart of a unique program in Vancouver. It's run by a couple with lived experience. He was an abuser and she was his victim. Catherine Urquhart reports. As smoke wafts through the air during a traditional smudging ceremony, Joe Fasella welcomes everyone. We ask you look kindly upon our family and loved ones. More than two dozen men and women gathered in East Vancouver. Many are violent offenders. Some are here because the court ordered them to attend. I'm really grateful for this program on all the tools that you guys offer us. Shannon is among two dozen people participating in Warriors Against Violence, a twice weekly program trying to break the cycle of domestic abuse. Funded by the city and local health authority, it's run by Joe and Joyce Fasella a couple whose own marriage was, for years, extremely violent. Then I start choking her to death while she was laying in bed. Then I woke myself up in a way, what am I doing? He could kill me and never know. And that's what I said to him. When he said, I love you, and I said, yeah, well, you could love me to death. Washed ourselves with this. Joe sought professional like help, with, as yep. did Joyce. Now both are mechanism. trained counselors, and for the past 20 years, they've been helping others like Matthew. I got violent with a man that was in her house. I, I went in and I assaulted him. I took somebody's life in 2004. Hannah has been in prison since 2004, convicted of fatally stabbing 84 year old Ray Michelson during a home invasion. You're turning it around and learning how to cope in a good way. But how successful is Warriors <laughs> Against Violence? Joe Fasella says 25% turn their lives around no. and the seeds of change are planted That's with many more. Better intervention programs in fact work. Those who completed the programs were less likely to get in touch with the criminal justice system again. Keeping people out of jail by stopping domestic family. abuse and hopefully ending the cycle of violence. I'm trying to help them help themselves, not end up dead or in prison. Catherine Urquhart, Global News, Vancouver. And our website has launched a series investigating Canada's failure to end violence against women. It's called Broken, and you can find it now at globalnews.ca.